Today, I'm going to tell you a story. I'm going to tell you an American folk tale that comes from Africa. And the title of today's story is Br'er Rabbit, the Vegetable Thief. This is Br'er Fox. Br'er is short for brother. And one spring day, Br'er Fox plants a garden. In his garden, he has many vegetables. For example, he plants cabbage, he plants broccoli, he plants onions, he plants carrots, and he plants peas. Every day, Br'er Fox waters his garden. He takes care of his garden. He waters his garden on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday. Every day he waters and cares for his garden. And soon the vegetables in his garden grow. They grow and they grow. The vegetables in the garden grow big and tall. One day, Br'er Rabbit is walking down the road when he sees the garden. He sees the vegetables and he says, Wow, look at these vegetables. How delicious, especially the peas. The peas are Br'er Rabbit's favorite. He loves peas. And so the Br'er Rabbit thinks, hmm, I will take some peas for me and my family. And every day, the Br'er Rabbit comes back to the garden and takes some peas for his family. He comes back on Monday. He comes back on Tuesday. He takes some peas on Wednesday. Every day, he takes some peas. And Br'er Fox sees that the peas, little by little, are missing. One day, some peas are missing. The next day, a few peas are missing. A few more. And Br'er Fox thinks, oh no, where are my peas going? Where are my peas? Somebody is stealing my vegetables. We have a vegetable thief. What should I do? And Br'er Fox has an idea. He has a plan. Around the garden, there is a fence, and Br'er Fox sets a trap at the entrance of the garden. He takes some rope and makes a trap to catch the thief. The next day, Br'er Rabbit returns to the garden, and as he's entering the garden, he steps in the trap, and the trap catches him. Now, 
he is hanging from the tree by his leg. He's upside down. And he tries to get free, but he can't. Suddenly, Br'er Bear comes walking down the road and he sees Br'er Rabbit hanging upside down from the tree. And he says, Hi, Br'er Rabbit. Uh, is everything okay? Is there a problem? And Br'er Rabbit is very, very clever. He's very smart, intelligent, and he has a plan. He says to Br'er Bear, Didn't you hear? Br'er Fox is paying me $1,000 to be a scarecrow for his garden. What is a scarecrow? Scarecrows are objects that farmers put in their gardens so that birds don't eat all the vegetables. The scarecrow scares the birds and they fly away. Br'er Rabbit says, being a scarecrow Ooh, that's hard work. It's difficult. I'm tired. Do you want to make some money? Help me down from the tree, and you can take my place. We can switch places, and I will lit the money with you. You'll have 500 and I'll have 500. Br'er Bear agrees. He says, yeah, that sounds great. And he helps Br'er Rabbit down from the tree. He helps him out of the trap and he puts the rope around his own leg and goes upside down in the tree. Br'er Rabbit and Br'er Bear have switched places and Br'er Bear is in the tree waving his arms, yelling to be a scarecrow. Br'er Rabbit runs as fast as he can to the house of Br'er Fox, to Br'er Fox's house, and he yells, Br'er Fox, Br'er Fox, come quick. Somebody is caught in your trap. Br'er Fox runs back to the garden, and when he sees Br'er Bear hanging from the tree, he says, Aha! So it was you who stole peas from my garden. And before Br'er Bear could say anything, Br'er Fox began to beat him with his stick. This'll teach you. This'll teach you to steal from my garden. Br'er Rabbit sees this and thinks, oh no, Br'er Bear is going to be very, very angry at me. And he runs to a pond and hides in the pond. Later, when Br'er Bear comes Walking down the road, he's very angry. 
he's very grumpy and he sees Rare Rabbit in the pond, but he doesn't recognize Rare Rabbit. He doesn't know that it is Rare Rabbit. He thinks it is a frog. And he says, Rare Frog, have you seen Rare Rabbit? I'm looking for him. And Rare Rabbit, imitating the voice of a frog, says, uh, Yes, Rabbit, I saw him go that way. And Rare Bear says, Thank you, Rare Frog. And he goes to find Rare Rabbit.